the last chapter of the book entitled um, Black Women, I Hate It, Now What? I actually give a statistic because here I am, I'm, I have a chapter dedicated to why black men or some black men don't want black women. But it must be it must be stated that the majority of black men do, in essence, for the lack of a better term, love black women. When you look at the raw statistics, and this is according to a 2008 U.S. Uh, census report, black husbands married 310,000 white women in the year 2008. Black Husbands married 4,190,000 black women in that same year of 2008. So there's an overwhelming uh, gap and disparity in favor of black women being partnered with black men than black men being partnered with white women. So now that we have that clear, okay, this book is not pertaining to the majority of black men, but for those that choose not to date or not to marry. It's interesting, I came across a very interesting study that was conducted that I found online. Many people like to think that I came up with this, but I did not. It's entitled, The Top 10 Reasons Why It's Hard to Date a Black Woman. And this was conducted by Matthew Lynch. So what he did was he had the top 50 reasons, but in this particular article, he just focuses on 10. I'm gonna quickly go through this list. Number one, black women make black men feel underappreciated, unwarranted, irresponsible, and regressive. Number two, black women are too aggressive and no longer patient and waiting on the pursuit of a man. Number three, black women are strong-headed, too independent, which presents great challenges in relationships. Number four, black women are masculine in that they are controlling and like to run the relationship. Number five, black women expect too much. They are gold diggers who will not look twice at a blue-collar man. Number six, black women are hot-headed and have bad attitudes. Number seven, black women stop caring about their appearances after a certain age. Number eight, black women are not as sexually open as other races, especially in regards to oral sex. Number nine, black women's tolerance is far too low. They are no longer empathetic to the black man's struggle in white America. And number ten, black women do not cater to their men. So let me respond before we go to the cause. Everything <laughs> about this list is absolutely true. But... Oh. Everything about this list is also absolutely false. It depends upon who this list is being uh, compared to. For instance, there are some women that don't represent anything on this list, not one iota. However, there are other women that represent every single detail of this list. But then there's another group of women who represent elements of this list, whether they are aware of them or not. And so going back to the statement that I made earlier, one thing we have to stop doing is romanticizing our people. You know, unfortunately, so many men, not all, but some, have used these generalizations or experiences that they've had with some black women to say that they are all like this. So I put this entire list in a category that I call cultural stereotypes. And black men have even used cultural stereotypes as justifications as to why they should not date or marry black women. Likewise, black women, many, not all, but some, have used, um, have said everything about this list is totally false. Well, we know that's not true because we can find people, we know people who represent elements of this list. But if we deal with it, honestly, we'll realize that these issues do exist amongst our people because one thing about stereotypes, all stereotypes are drenched in some form of reality. We can see it. But unfortunately, it's perpetuated and exaggerated by the media, whether you're watching television, a movie, um, if you look at the historical depictions of our people, which we can get into. But but we have to deal with this particular list because, unfortunately, too many men like the ones we see on Google on Google and, and, and what is it, YouTube, they're using these very uh, stereotypes to demean all black women, and that's where the problem comes in. A lot of brothers who date white women will say, well, you know what, he only with her because she's an easy out. Because we know that white women will take anything, stand for anything, this, that, and the other. But that's not necessarily true. Just ask Tiger Woods. When right. that woman find out what that <laughs> is, she went berserk, and justifiably so. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the sweeping generalizations don't work. And you're right. There are white women that, that represent this list to the T, as well as Asians, Latinos, this, that, and the other. But we, when we talk about the differences amongst Latino, Asian, white women in the book as well. So uh, you're, you're absolutely right. And that's the point that we're trying to make. It's not just our people. It's all people. 
And just like there's bad in every group, there's good in every group. But we have to search for the good and leave the bad alone.